Hey guys, what's up? It's Crucial, and today I'm gonna to show you guys exactly how I do my shoe shipping. Um, now this is only for USPS. Uh, if you're doing UPS and FedEx, it doesn't apply because we're gonna be using the free supplies or the free boxes from USPS. So these actually are gonna be the 1095s. They will be linked down below, and you can order them by the hundreds completely free, um, which saves you quite a bit of money over the, over the course of a year or so if you're actually shipping any amount of volume, um, which is why we're making these tutorials. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, all you're gonna be needing are these 1095 boxes, a box cutter, some scissors, um, or some scissors, either one, and then tape. Um, I recommend a tape gun, it's not needed. Um, but it's super, super simple. It takes about 30 seconds per box, and it saves you about a dollar per box, depending on where you're buying your actual boxes from, um, now that you're getting them for free. So hopefully this is gonna help you guys, and let's just get into it. All right, so now we have all of our supplies here. Um, so this is gonna be the 1095 box. As you can see, if you go ahead and open it or unfold it, um, you can see it's not gonna fit a shoe box. Um, it's relatively, or it's significantly smaller. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this flat. Um, you can see where it bends right now. It's right here. Um, so put this side down, put the, take a, the box of shoes, line it up right here, just like that. Um, so you can see the bend is like within the shoe box. You're gonna take your box cutter, you're gonna go ahead and line up right here, and you're going to just halfway cut through all the way down. Um, now you're gonna flip this box over, do the exact same thing. So find the bend, grab your box of shoes, line it up. It doesn't really have to be perfect, to be honest. Um, it just has to kind of be a rough idea, and obviously big enough for the shoes. Um, once you go ahead and do that, you should be able to just bend a little bit, um, and you can see that it, it uses the new bend. Um, you have the old bend, however to make that look, and you have the new bend. Um, once you do that, super simple, you're just gonna tear these out um, so that you can actually close this. All right, now you guys can see me again. Um, we just ripped these. We can go ahead and once they're ripped, you push them in, bend them over. Um, sometimes you get these little flaps if you rip it. Um, I just, like how I do this, I literally just bend these back in. I don't even know if you guys can really see them. It really doesn't matter. Um, take your tape, blah, blah, blah. So literally all you do, and now you have an actual box that's gonna fit a shoe, um, or shoe box. So you go ahead and take this. I like to do it this way. How I personally do it is I actually use the guides um, that, that they have. So wherever their label is, I always have my shoes facing upside. Um, that way when people open it, they don't fall out or anything like that. It doesn't really matter though. Um, then you're just gonna rip on the top again. Boom, good to go. Bzz, bzz, done. Um, it's literally that simple, guys. Um, takes 30 seconds once you can to get the hang of it, and uh, they're free boxes. So take advantage, and hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit.